In this video, we will learn how to configure options for tab controls. We can configure tab controls by right clicking a tab on the tab control and selecting from items on the shortcut menu. Follow these steps to configure a tab control. Right click a tab on the tab control. We can select from the following shortcut menu items. Note, we will not discuss, discuss the complete list of menu items we see when we right click a tab on the tab control. Reorder controls in page. LabVIEW disables this item if there are not at least two controls on the page. So let's add some controls. Then the menu becomes available. We can use this option to reorder the objects on the active page for key navigation. Then we can go to the advanced and from there we can select some sub menus, sub options. Hide page hides the current page. If we hide the default page, the next page becomes the default page. If the only visible page is the default page, We cannot hide the default page. We can also use the page visible property to hide a page of the tab control programmatically. But for that, we will have to obtain the reference to all the pages and from within it, we will select the particular page we are interested in. And then we can apply the page visible property. So after we have obtained a reference to a particular page, then we can make it visible or invisible. Page enabled state. Modifies the enabled state of a page of the tab control. We can select from enable, disable, or disabled and grayed out. We can also use the page enable 
state property to modify the enabled state of a page of the tab control programmatically. But like before, we will have to first obtain the reference to that particular page. So let's make it disable. Let's make it disabled and grayed out. Let's make it enabled. If we have hidden particular page then the option show hidden page becomes available shows a specific hidden page by name we can also use the page visible property to show a hidden page of the tab control programmatically which we show uh, which we see saw a moment ago make page caption match label. We can remove the check mark next to this option to change the text tab text without changing the page label associated with the page. To display the page label, right click the tab and select from visible items page labels display from the shortcut menu. Now we can have page label, the caption different from the page label. But if we select, check this, make page captions match label, then the page label and the caption must be the same. Page labels correspond to the values of the enumerated type control on the block diagram. Auto grow increases the tab control size if an object we place on a tab is outside the bounds of the tab control. Like this. If this is turned off, then the page does not grow automatically. Size to fit. The tab control resizes to fit its contents. If we enable this shortcut item, LabVIEW enables the auto grow item automatically. Allow multiple colors, allows different colors on the individual pages of a tab control. If this property is not enabled, then we can, whatever color we apply, applies to all pages. To color them separately, we have to enable this property, allow 
multiple colors and then we can color the tabs individually. Allow multiple rows. This option arranges any tabs that extend beyond the width of the tab control into an additional row of tabs. Remove the check mark. Next to this option to display navigation buttons on the upper right of the tab control. We can use these navigation buttons to scroll through tabs that are not visible. Then we have tab size options. Adjust the size of the tabs. We can select from tab size tabs to contents, size all tabs to largest tab or fixed tab size. If we select fixed tab size, we can use the positioning tool to resize the individual tabs. We can place a check mark by justify tabs to stretch each row of tabs to fill the entire width of the tab control. If the tab control has multiple rows of tabs, lab view automatically justifies the tab size. Tab layout changes whether we can use text or images on the tabs of each control. We can also use this shortcut menu to add and remove images from the tabs. Let's add some images to the tabs. So let's make the tab size to its contents. We can also use this shortcut menu to add and remove images from the tabs. Tab location. So first let's set it to text only and let's us and 
let's resize it and then we will set its tab location it can be top left bottom or right you can also use the tab control and page properties To configure tab controls and individual tab control pages programmatically, we must obtain a reference to a tab control page before we can configure the individual pages.